Closed out January, midway through it, we celebrated Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday. But one fun and interactive science museum is taking it one step further. As well as honoring Dr. King, they are also honoring scientists' birthdays and are celebrating the accomplishments of these scientists. On Monday, January 15, 2007, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, the SciTech Hands-On Interactive Science Museum in Aurora, Illinois, nestled comfy cozy inside the old Aurora Post Office, had their scientist birthday party. With the museum normally closed on Mondays, the museum opened its doors for a special treat for the kiddies. At SciTech, kids got the chance to take part in interactive hands-on science exhibits and experiments. Kids also were treated to a cool science show, and of course, no birthday party would be complete without a birthday cake. Since kids had the day off from school in honor of Dr. King's birthday, they had an extra special chance to learn about science outside the classroom. SciTech Hands-On Interactive Science Museum is Chicagoland's premier science museum. Learning through doing is their motto. Kids don't read about how some guy invented something about something. They actually take part in the experiment. They become part of the equation. As I have said many times, kids are learning about science even before they can read. SciTech is for kids of all ages. While SciTech's focus is about kids learning about science through doing, parents and adults are encouraged to take part in the experiments and exhibits as well. All is welcome at SciTech. In fact, kids are now starting to grow up with SciTech and soon a second generation of kids will be enjoying SciTech. Soon parents will be able to share what they've learned at SciTech as a kid with their very own kids. Tammy, Public Relations Director for SciTech Hands-On Interactive Science Museum, tells us what was happening today. Well, today we are having our annual scientist birthday party every year on the Martin Luther King holiday. We, um, well, we honor Martin Luther King, but we also honor scientists. Uh, this started about six, seven years ago. We realized that there are a lot of scientists who had their birthdays right between Christmas and the Martin Luther King holiday. So we, now we just celebrate all scientists. That first couple of years we were Newton, Newton and Franklin because their birthdays fell into that time period. This year we're celebrating uh, Dr. Leon Letterman. He won the Nobel Prize and he works at Fermilab. We're also uh, celebrating Dr. Sylvia Earle. She's an oceanographer. She was an aquanaut. Uh, she is one of America's most uh, prolific marine biologists. We also are celebrating this year, Nicholas Copernicus, an astronomy and Christian Doppler. Uh, he was actually an astrophysicist, but his theories have been applied to weather. So we're doing activities on weather, physics, uh, and um, astronomy, and we also have some fish for kids to color. And, and we have a couple fish from the Fox River that kids can look at in honor of Dr. Earl. And then at one o'clock, we will have birthday cake, and everybody sings happy birthday to Martin Luther King and to the scientists. So. As I mentioned, since kids had the day off from school, SciTech was the perfect place to bring them. I know parents are always looking for things for their children to do when the kids have a day off of school. And in January, you never know what the weather is going to be like. And today, it's sort of cold, it's icy, it's dreary outside. It's not a snowy day where kids can go outside and play in the snow, and it's not nice enough that they can go outside and play in the park. And I'm guessing by now, if it holds true as with my child, they've already gotten bored with their Christmas presents. So this is a great place to bring them, have them burn off a little steam, and learn a little bit about science and have a good time at the same time. 
Tammy, Public Relations Director for SciTech Hands-On Interactive Science Museum, tells us about their exhibits and how their exhibits are always changing, so every time you come to SciTech, you may see something new. Uh, these are all of our permanent exhibits. Our big major attraction just left a few weeks ago and now uh, on our floor are our permanent exhibits. We have our Bible Times tech exhibits out on the floor that shows children what it was like to live uh, 3,000 years ago in ancient Israel and that has a scientific aspect to it showing that technology has changed but people you sort of use the same types of things over the years but the technology has changed. And it's a very interesting exhibit. We have our light and our color. We have our, our Comcast News Brief Center uh, that went up in uh, July. We have lots of fun things for kids of all ages to do here. We have our tornado. So, um, you know, it's a very fun place and the SciTech floor is always changing. Now, um, next month we have a juggler coming. So on President's Day, it'll be a little bit different here. Over spring break, we have Flump of the Frog coming so it'll be a little bit different here and so we're always changing the floor to change around exhibitions things that we do things that sometimes we trade exhibitions with other museums that we work with where they might get our Bible Times tech exhibits for three months and we might get their maze or something like that so it's an ever-changing place here at SciTech so if you haven't been here recently it's gonna look a lot different in fact if you haven't been here since last year it looks a lot different with um, out the big 20 dinosaurs dinosaurs right now. information on SciTech Hands-On Interactive Science Museum, please take note of your screen.